In this video clip, we will learn how to create bar charts using SPSS. But before we create the charts, let's uh, get ourselves familiarized with the data set. Speed data is the speeds of the vehicles that we collected in the field. We collected, we went out in the field and collected the speeds of vehicles on different roadways with different characteristics. All these other variables such as posted speed limit, lane width, median type, median width, axis density, segment length, and land use. These, character, these variables define the characteristics of the roadways on which we collected the speed data. So we want to present our data set using bar charts with uh, different information shown on those charts. So we go to the graph tab and from this drop down menu we see that there are two options available here to create the charts. One is the legacy dialogues. From this drop down menu we can select a bar and then we uh, can create different types of bar charts from here or we go to the chart builder and then choose from this window and then drag and uh, drag and drop that chart type in this preview window and then select different variables and create a bar chart. So let's uh, first create a simple bar chart. We select this simple bar chart and then drag it and drop it in this preview window. Now we create a simple bar chart between two variables. One is, um, one is plotted on x-axis and the other variable is plotted on the y-axis. So let's say we want to find out the mean speeds of the vehicles on roadways with different posted speed limits. So we select posted speed limit from this variables window and drag it and drop it on x-axis. And then we select the speeds of vehicles and drag and drop this variable on y-axis. We see here that this axis says mean speeds of vehicles collected. The reason being that in this statistics option we have selected mean. We can even select median or we can even have uh, find out mode or any other value or any other um, uh, any other statistics that we want to find out or we want to determine. So we want to find out the mean speeds of the vehicles on roadways with different posted speed limits. So we select mean and then we hit apply and then we say OK. So a bar chart is created and these three bars represent the mean speeds of the vehicles on roadways with different posted speed limit. We can also change the color of these graphs and label each of the charts or each of the bars. So to do that, double click on this window and this chart editor window appears here. From there, again to change the color, we double click on this window or on on the bar and then we see that there are different options available here and then from fill and border option to change the color of the fill select click on this small window that says fill on this box that says fill and select any color that we want to uh, repre uh, present our chart as so let's say we want to create our chart in or we want to create the bars in green color so we select green from here and then when we go to depth and angle when we select depth and angle we can define we can either create a flat effect have effect of flat chart or a shadow or a 3d so let's select 3d here and then click apply now we have a 3d bar chart here we can also label these bars so from the elements tab select data label mode and click on each bar close this window and now we have this bar chart that shows different bars here with the mean value and in a three in a this is in a three dimension so 39 mile per hour is the mean speeds of the vehicles on roadways with 35 mile posted speed limit, 35 mile per hour posted speed limit, 43 mile per hour is the mean speed is the mean of the speeds of vehicles on roadways with 40 mile per hour posted speed limit and 48 mile per hour is the mean of the speeds of the vehicles 
or of the mean of uh, the speeds of the numbers of vehicles that for which we collected the data on roadways with posted speed limit of 45 mile per hour this was the simple bar chart we can also create bar charts that are clustered by one, by one dimension and on the in the category axis we have other we can have other variables so in case of a cluster bar chart we uh, we are using three different variables one is the category axis other is cluster on x so what variable do we want to use or we want to cluster on under each category and then the third is the statistics that we want to determine or we want to present so let's select land use and drag it and drop it in on x-axis and then post the speed limit again select post the speed limit and drag it on drop it on this cluster on x and then we want to find out the mean so by creating this chart we are determining or we are representing the mean speeds of the vehicles on roadways with different posted speed limit collected in the regions that had different land uses we hit on ok again and then we have this bar chart and these three bars this blue green and beige color these are the different uh, this is a cluster of the posted speed limit so the mean speeds of the vehicles on roadways with 35 mile per hour posted speed limit in around in the region that had commercial land uses was 40 mile per hour Ro and the mean speeds of the vehicles with on, on roadways with 40 mile per hour posted speed limit and in the regions which are which has commercial land uses is again is close to 40 mile per hour speed limit uh, 45 mile uh, 40 mile per hour mean speed and then the mean speeds of the vehicles on roadways with 45 mile per hour posted speed limit that are located in um, the region that ha that has commercial land uses is around 48 mile per hour posted speed limit in this land use under this land use institutional land use we have just two bars here and this is because in our data set we did not we do not have the speeds of the vehicles collected on 35 mile per hour posted speed limit roadways located in the regions that had institutional land uses in, under the land use offices we do not have we, we don't see the uh, don't see the bar for po uh, the roadways that has 40 mile per hour posted speed limit this is because in our data set lacks our, uh, our data set does not have the speeds of the vehicles collected on roadways with 40 mile per hour posted speed limit in the region that had office offices land uses now we see here that in this case in the cluster in bar chart we uh, it's it's type of a three dimension the reason being that we use three different variables or we determine the mean speeds of the vehicles collected that of the vehicles the, uh, the speed of the vehicles collected in the field and then we we found those means for two different variables so that is the posted speed limit and the land uses so that's like a, a cross tabulation so with post, uh, roadways with 35 mile per hour posted speed limit and land uses as commercial so this this is like this in this case in the cluster chart we have used three variables or we have determined the speed limit or mean speeds of the vehicles uh, on two different uh, variables using two different variables this we can represent the same information using the stack graph so we select stack here and then we drag it and drop it on preview window our all other variables will remain same we want to create the stack by posted speed limit and then on the x-axis or the category axis will be land uses and we want to find out the mean speed or uh, mean of the vehicle speed and then we again click on ok and as we see here that each of this bar 
has three stacks. Beige color represents the roadways or the mean uh, vehicle speeds on the roadways with 45 mile per hour speed limit. This green bar here, this green stack here, this uh, represents, it indicates the mean of the vehicle speeds on roadways with 40 mile per hour speed limit in the regions with commercial land uses and this blue bar here which is stacked upon the green bar it represents indicates the mean of the vehicle speeds on roadways with 35 mile per hour posted speed limit in the commercial regions and let's click on it again and then we can even change the order of the appearance of these stacks or these bars so let's bring 35 to the bottom and then 40 in the middle and 45 on the top so the, now the order of these stacks is, is changed here so as we saw that as we um, that in this bar charts or in the SPSS we can plot three different types of bar charts one is a simple bar charts in which we are using uh, just two variables in the clustered bar chart we are using three variables we are finding out the mean of speed of the vehicles on two different variables posted speed limit and land uses and then the same information can be represented using the stack bar chart